वेलकम एवरीवन टू दिस एक्साइटिंग एनकाउंटर बिटवीन मैग्नस कार्लसन एंड नोदिर बैक अब्दुल सतर ऑफ नोदिर बैक नाउ वर्ल्ड नंबर फोर वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड बट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ द गेम ही वाज जस्ट अ 2600 जीएम ओनली 14 इयर्स ओल्ड लेट्स सी हाउ ही फेयर्स अगेंस्ट मैग्नस मैग्नस गोस फॉर दिस टोरे अटैक एज इट्स कॉल्ड विद द बिशप ऑन जी5 एंड नोदिर बैक गोस फॉर अ वेरी सॉलिड सेटअप वी नाउ स्लोली आर सीमिंग टू मूव इनटू द queen's gambit declined territory just that this knight on b1 hasn't been developed magnus chops off the knight gives his opponent the bishop pair but says to nodirbeck that your remaining bishop on c8 is not very active what are you going to do about it and he goes h4 well magnus is actually going all out you can see nodirbeck just pausing a bit he's 14 years old but it's magnus who has this youthful energy right now maybe he wants to go g4 g5 just open up the queen and the rook nodirbeck plays g6 being very careful magnus now gets his knight out logical to develop also getting ready to long castle and nodirbeck puts his bishop back so safety first approach by the youngster and that is why is when you're facing the world champion long castle magnus is not stopping at just h4 he's going to go all out c6 is he going to play g4 as well is that on his mind yes it is he plays g4 nodir back up to satoro hasn't developed all of his pieces he is under some pressure although the engine really likes black's position and nodir back calmly plays his knight to d7 g5 not particularly a great idea because nodirbeck now closes down the structure magnus does go king b1 but black now doesn't have to worry about the king side opening up he plays his queen to e7 all that he has to think is how to get this bishop on c8 into the game which may not be that difficult at some point you can play b5 b4 and the bishop can come out here magnus wanted to make his move but is still a little bit confused I think the opening hasn't gone that well for him. He did go out all guns blazing but suddenly has found himself short of ammunition. Now, what next? Should he get to a simple developing position? He goes CD which was logical and ED opens up the bishop this side. So Nodirbeck didn't even have to figure what way to get his bishop out. Bishop D3 played some pressure on the G6 pawn. but it's no real sacrifice to be worried about knight goes to b6 magnus plays his rook to c1 you can see that his moves are not really in sync h4 g4 on the king side suddenly king b1 king c1 a rook c1 but he's just putting his pieces on decent squares and hoping that nodirbeck will give him an opportunity at some point bishop comes out to e6 now the knight jumps back to e2 bishop g4 he attacks the knight the knight drops back and asks the question to the bishop he takes it queen takes now if you see that black can if at the right time push the pawn to c5 it would be amazing he goes f4 he weakens this e3 square nodirbeck attacks it with rook e8 magnus has to be careful next up c5 coming in this is becoming an amazing position for black because the bishop will open up the knight is well placed and e3 pawn is weak white knight isn't doing much on h2 what is magnus going to do he goes rook e1 now nodir back let's go c5 that is the move you want to play and i think that is the move he's calculating he has enough time on the clock no knight c4 not particularly a great idea because now magnus can actually take take and take the pawn and he can ask nodir back to prove his compensation which does exist i must say but it's not enough for an advantage it will give him equality takes and now magnus is a pawn up although you can see the light squares are a bit weak the bishop is well placed the knight is not in the game so black does have compensation for the missing pawn but is nodirbeck going to fight for some advantage here he gives a check and magnus quickly brings his queen back you don't trade and go into an end game with magnus pawn down nodirbeck also knows that so he has to keep the queens on the board but where does he go with his queen he goes back to d5 can we push the pawn yet not really the d4 pawn will hang so magnus first protects it he's now going e4 in the position and he what will 
Nodir Beg do suddenly from getting a very comfortable position out of the opening he is now under pressure and that's what happens with Magnus Carlsen a lapse in concentration and he's all over you rook c d8 played black's rooks are nicely positioned in the center of the board but i think it's time to push the central pawn magnus does it he pushes his pawn to e4 noderbeck moves his queen back to e6 and now white needs to get his knight into the game but not yet because knight f3 the queen will start entering and also the d4 pawn e4 pawn these are all soft pawns so magnus has to play carefully he has the space and the pawns but he now has to protect them a good move here is queen f2 defending f2 f4 d4 and h4 the queen really belongs on that square magnus taking his time he's down to 50 seconds on the clock while noderbeck still has a about a minute queen f2 found by magnus you know he has this sense of harmony in the position and he knows exactly where his queen belongs and so on which is why he found this move now noderbeck what is his next way of creating play he goes rook d7 he says that this pawn is weak i'm going to jump on it and try to put pressure magnus pushes his pawn to f5 now he is actually in the driver's seat and i think noderbeck will collapse here because his position is falling apart f5 comes in and f6 is coming in in fact to shut down this bishop noderbeck takes his time the writing seems to be on the wall he plays queen c4 f6 comes in bishop f8 look at the speed at which magnus is making his moves he knows these are now autopilot moves the knight comes back the knight can even jump into the center of the board now who this is not looking good for noderbeck he plays his rook to d6 just trying to improve the position very slightly hoping against hope that magnus blunders but magnus carlsen does not blunder in such positions although here he's coming down to 30 seconds 95 played he's attacked the queen the queen has to move away no point in sacrificing your rook right now that there, there's no real compensation so you have to move your queen away he brings his queen back that is the tenacious way of defending knight goes back to d3 and now you can see that again both the pawns are well guarded for the time being Noderbeck goes in queen g4 knight comes to f4 blunder he takes it you can see magnus carlsen so upset with himself he's missed it because rook takes rook is met with queen takes rook magnus has to move his rook and now all of a sudden it's noderbeck who's in the driver's seat he's clearly better king a1 play b5 just improve your position slowly noderbeck you are winning he pushes forward c5 is met with d5 he pushes c4 magnus carlsen now has to defend this inferior position what a turn of events there one miss by magnus and noderbeck gets back rook d1 he takes the rook queen takes and now he pushes his pawn to c3 you must take with the pawn because if you take with the queen there is a pin here and you can chop off the pawn on d5 magnus now down to 10 seconds chops the pawn with the queen noderbeck was so alert takes here you can see that the white king looks a bit exposed while the black king looks safe and at, on the other hand these pawns h4 can become really weak h4 g5 f6 this entire pawn chain can just fall apart he goes rook d1 now have to play carefully he comes back but maybe magnus is the one suddenly who's going to fight for the advantage rook e8 played good move he takes the pawn Queen goes to g4. Magnus brings his queen back. Rook comes to the center. Nodir back with just few seconds. Look at the way he's playing. Check comes in. He must take the knight. He doesn't. Now the f7 pawn is hanging. Nodir back once again finds the only move. Knight c8 is winning here for White. Can Magnus find it? Not enough time. He plays queen d7. Nodir back spots the defense. He takes, and now you can't take the rook because your rook is hanging. He actually takes it. check king up check again they both look at each other and shake hands it's a draw what a game that was